Good evening and welcome to the uh, November 19th, 2014 uh, Town Board meeting. We'll officially call the meeting to order. We'll ask uh, everyone in the audience to please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. I'll ask our clerk uh, to please call the roll. Paul? Here. LaFountain? Here. Metzler? Here. Moore uh, will be in shortly. And Quinn? Here. Thank you very much. Uh, our next item on the agenda, communications and announcements, and I'll start uh, with Councilman Rob Quinn, please. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> the winter and holiday seasons are now upon us. House fires in the winter increased due to the improper use of space heaters, fireplaces, and wood-burning stoves. Some preventative measures to being warm and safe is having your heating equipment cleaned and inspected each year. Remember to turn off all portable heaters when leaving the room and make sure your fireplace flue is open for adequate ventilation. Cooking fires also increase during the holidays. Be sure to stay in the kitchen when frying, grilling, or boiling food and keep things that catch on fire away from the stovetop. And keep, kids at a, keep the kitchen a children-free zone, which is easier said than done. For more safety tips, please visit the National Fire Prevention Association website at nfpa.org. And second, winter parking and snow plowing rules are now in effect. This means that no parking is allowed on all roads and highways between 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. to allow highway crews to safely and effectively maintain our roadways. In addition, under New York State law, Please help keep our roadway safe by plowing, blowing, or shoveling snow from your driveway onto your own property. Pushing snow across a highway or cul-de-sac is prohibited. If you, con if you contract with a snow plowing service, please share this communication and ask them to ensure that you are in compliance with the law. For additional information, please visit penfield.org. That is what I have this evening. Thank you. This is uh, Messler. I have one announcement this evening. Any resident or group interested in renting a lodge or a pavilion in 2015 will have a chance to do so beginning Thursday, December 4th at 10 a.m. Registration is done through the Recreation Department. Registering online will require an active account with the Town of Penfield, but you can also register in person at the Community Center on Baird Road. For more information on renting a lodge or a pavilion, please go to penfieldrec.org. That's all I have for this evening. Thank you. Uh, a couple of items and then just uh, one note uh, that I'd like to read from a resident that uh, came in. Town offices will be closed on Thursday and Friday, that's November 27th and 28th, in observ observance of uh, Thanksgiving. Um, and on behalf of uh, the entire uh, town board and our town staff, we'd like to wish everyone a warm, safe, and happy holiday season. Uh, the second item is with regards to uh, Mott's Lane. Uh, Mott's Lane uh, has been completed uh, by our highway crew. Uh, there will be a ribbon cutting ceremony that will take place on Monday the 24th at noon. Uh, meet at the uh, Humphrey House uh, parking lot, right to the rear of that uh, parking lot uh, for that. Anyone that has an interest, been a long time uh, coming. I'd like to uh, give some recognition to uh, Jeff Benway, Jim Costello, uh, who worked uh, so hard pulling together easements and uh, properties uh, for that, uh, our town crews, and then uh, some support staff that helped our town crews on that project. And then the, uh, the letter that I received um, uh, that came in uh, here recently uh, was from Mr. Bengali uh, on uh, Fairport Nine Mile Point Road. And uh, he writes to say that he's been a resident of Penfield for 55 years and has always been uh, satisfied with the services that uh, we have provided. Uh, he was very impressed recently with the uh, job that our uh, uh, DPW crews uh, did with drainage and grading along the property at his location as well as the two uh, homes next door. And he wanted to make sure that uh, he expressed uh, appreciation for that. Uh, the person in charge was Mike and uh, was actually Mike Giorgione. And uh, with Mike was Mike Sidori and Tim Short. Uh, the three of them uh, did all the excavation, installed the pipe, did the grading and seating, and uh, were very uh, happy and pleased with the work done by DPW. Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Uh, two quick announcements tonight. The Penfield Trails Committee will sponsor a free guided hike at the Nature Conservancy Thousand, Thousand Acre Swamp on Saturday, December 13th at 10 a.m. to noon. The hike will emphasize winter nature lore. Participants should meet at the back of the Penfield Volunteer Ambulance on Jackson Road. While the hike is free, 
We ask that you please register with Penfield Recreation at 340-8655 extension 6 so that they know who will be attending. Also, this is really good news for the kids of Penfield. This holiday season, Penfield Recreation Department has again made direct contact with Santa's workshop to help children in Penfield send their holiday letter letters directly to Santa Claus. Kids can expect to receive a personal reply from Santa before Christmas if their letters are postmarked before Monday, December 8th. Letters should be addressed to Santa Claus, care of Penfield Recreation, 1985 Baird Road, Penfield, New York, 14526. Be sure to include your return address for your personal reply. If you have any questions, please call the Recreation Director at 585 Three four zero eight six five five. Thank you. Thank you. So. I have three announcements. First, the Penfield Public Library now has a used book area within its facility. As a suggested donation to the library is fifty cents a paperback and a dollar for a hardcover, residents can find books no longer utilized by the library to have them as their own. For more information, you can contact the library at three four zero eight seven two zero. Then Penfield Recreation's annual holiday celebration will be at the Community Center on Friday, December 5th, beginning at 6 p.m. Come and enjoy free, fun-filled holiday activities throughout the Community Center, including crafts and games and Christmas play and, of course, Santa Claus. And at 5.30, for just a small fee per person, you can bring your family for a tasty pancake dinner. For more details on this event, visit penfieldrec.org. And finally, over the next six weeks, the Penfield Ecumenical <coughs> Food Shelf will be seeing a higher than normal request for non-perishable foods as they get ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners to those members of our community that are less fortunate. You can visit their website at www.penfieldecumenicalfoodshelf.org to visit their current list of needed items. Items can be donated at 1618 Jackson Road across from the DPW complex. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll move on to uh, public participation, two opportunities uh, now and then again at the ed end of the meeting. Uh, if you're here in the audience, uh, you can address the board on any matter. Uh, you can call in at 340-8771 or you can log on at uh, penfield.org. Um, seeing no one uh, to come forward for public participation, we'll move on to additions and deletions to the agenda. Um, does the board have any additions or deletions? Seeing none. Uh, we have the October 15th, 2014 minutes before us and uh, would entertain a motion of approval for those minutes. I'd like to move that the minutes of October 15th be approved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion on those minutes? A roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Uh, petitions. Has the board, uh, town clerk or town attorney, received uh, any petitions since our last meeting? Okay, seeing none. Move on to resolutions by function, starting with law and finance, please. Setting a public hearing for the establishment <coughs> of extension number 57 to the Penfield Consolidated Sanitary Sewer District, Waybridge Court Subdivision, 1469 Jackson Road. Moved. Second. Whereas a written petition has been received by the Penfield <coughs> Town Board, duly dated and verified to contain the re required signatures, and having been presented to and filed with the Town Board of the Town of Penfield for the establishment of extension number 57 to the Penfield Consolidated Sanitary Sewer Way Waybridge Court Subdivision. Whereas the improvement proposed consists of sanitary sewer pipes, lines, hardware, and all the necessary uh, equipment thereto for purposes of constructing said sewer lines as shown on the map and plans attached to and made a part of the petition and filed in the office of the town clerk. Whereas the entire cost of the improvement to be constructed in said sewer district shall be borne by the developer of said extension. Now therefore it be resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the town hall on the 17th day of December 14th at 7.30 p.m. on said date to consider the petition and to hear all persons interested in the subject and concerning the same and for which other actions on part of the town board with relation to said petition as required by law. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is there uh, any discussion on this uh, resolution? Okay. Seeing none, I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. 
Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Setting a public hearing for the establishment of the Waybridge Court Subdivision Special Improvement District. Moved. Second. Whereas a written petition is. Hold on Sorry. just a minute if you would. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. Sorry. No, go, no, go ahead. That's fine. Uh, whereas the written petition has pre been presented to the Penfield Town Board, duly dated and verified to contain the required signatures, and having been filed with the town clerk of the town of Penfield for the establishment of the Weybridge Court Subdivision Special Improvement District. Whereas the boundaries of said Special Improvement District are described in Schedule A attached and made part hereof and are shown on Exhibit 1 located on the petition and incorporated herein by reference. Whereas the entire cost of the propo proposed improvement to be constructed within the Special Improvement District shall be borne by the petitioners and or developer of Weybridge Court subdivision. Now therefore be it resolved the town board of the town of Penfield will hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall on the 17th day of December 2014 at 7.30 p.m. to hear on said date to consider the said petition and to hear all persons interested in the subject and concerning the same for which other action on part of the town board with relation to said petition is may be required by law. Thank you. So is there any discussion? Uh, Mr. Supervisor, I would like to just um, add a request to move uh, for a small change in the title of the resolution to include that it is a special drainage improvement district, uh -huh. um, not just special improvement district. Um, additionally, in the first paragraph, um, at the end, uh, again, a reference mm -hmm. to a special yeah. drainage improvement district. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a second on that? Second. Okay. Thank you. So it's, uh, it's been moved and seconded to uh, add uh, drainage. So it will be special drainage improvement district. Um, so I will uh, first uh, uh, let me uh, call for the vote on the amendment, and then uh, we'll see if there's any further discussion. So um, I'd ask for a roll call on the amendment only at this time. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Great. Thank you. Now now on the, uh, the main uh, motion, is there any discussion or further discussion on the resolution? Seeing none, uh, then I would ask for a roll call for the, uh, the resolution itself. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Thank you. Acceptance of final environmental impact statement, FEIS, for the proposed expansion of the South Point Marina at 1384 and 1420 Umpire Boulevard. Moved. Second. Whereas on December 18th, 2013, the Town of Penfield by resolution number 13T, T dash 228 of 2013 issued a positive declaration of environmental significance and elected to require the preparation of a draft environmental impact statement to address the issues identified in scoping process as set forth in sections 617.8, 617.10 of the State Environmental Quality Review Act for the proposed expansion which includes the construction of a 3,750 square foot two-story structure to support a clubhouse and swimming pool for the marina, a sit-down restaurant, and the installation of 176 boat slips. Whereas on October 6, 2014, the Penfield Town Board acted as lead agency by resolution T14-142, made a determination of completeness of the draft environmental impact statement, and set a public hearing for the draft environmental impact statement on September 3rd, 2014. Whereas it received comments from the public both at the public hearing and subsequent to during the comment period between August 7th and September 19th. Whereas, as, I'm sorry, whereas at its November 12th, 2014 work session, the town board determined that the final environmental impact statement is complete and should be made available to all involved and interested agencies as well as the general public. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board has determined that the final environmental impact statement for subject action com is complete and hereby accepts it so that it can be made available for public review. 
and it be further resolved that the final environmental impact statement be distributed to all involved and interested agencies in accordance with the requirements of the State Environmental Quality Review Act, known as SEEKER, be posted on the Town of Penfield's website and made available at the Penfield Public Library and the Penfield Town Clerk's Office. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, discussion on this matter? Just a, a couple things, Mr. Supervisor, if I can. I, I know we talked about this at length at the last work session last week, and, and quite honestly, we've talked about this particular proposal um, and vetted this proposal for quite some time. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, agency input, such as the DEC, the state DOT, and we've had um, some resident input on where we are today. Um, I think it's important to point out that this board chose to go with a positive declaration because we felt that this proposal deserved some further review and the applicant um, completed that uh, process, uh, at least to my satisfaction. Um, during the process, I think there were three or four residents that raised, raised some concerns and had some questions about um, some of the environmental impact and I, I believe those were adequately addressed. Um, again, you know, the proposal has been vetted for quite some time now, a couple months if I remember correctly. Um, I also believe that, that the proposal, and I support this moving forward, I think the traffic issues have been addressed per the document. Um, when I was reading the document, certainly I believe that the Eagle's Nest um, situation has been addressed adequately by the applicant. The proposal has shifted farther away from the Eagle's Nest and the DEC uh, basically said that there was no required taking permit by the applicant. So I appreciate the applicant's diligence in, in moving the project uh, boundaries away from the Eagle's Nest into a more appropriate um, distance between the two. Um, dredging was adequately addressed in the document. Um, one of the important parts that I thought uh, when I was reading the document was the biology aspect of this proposal. Um, the applicant at the DEC's request um, hired a biologist affiliated with SUNY Brockport, uh, a, a notable biologist who is very familiar with the Rondecoit Bay area and watershed biologist by the name of Jim Hines. Um, in his report, he came to the public hearing uh, and spoke, spoke before this board and spoke uh, to the residents of this community about the project and it basically said that the additional docks would have no negative impact to the water or biology of the water um, and in fact that portion of the cove um, did not have any real significant uh, environmental sensitivity. So uh, there was a third party uh, influence or third party um, advocate that, that went and looked at these different biological issues with the Rondecoit Bay and that's what his report um, had to say. The turbidity of the water in that area was addressed, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and certainly the public will have access in that area as far as uh, some paths and access to the water. So um, in my opinion, I'm going to be supporting this process moving forward. I'm appreciate uh, all the resident input making this project better today than maybe it was when it first started. Certainly this town board um, has been very active in vetting this and uh, certainly appreciate the applicants due diligence in working with the uh, State Department of Environmental Conservation on a weekly basis um, you know, and providing the document uh, with all of the uh, questions that were raised, answered, and a lot of real good information about what they plan on doing down at that end of the bay. And certainly hiring a biologist to have a third party, to have a third party take a look at some of the impacts uh, to the waters down there. So thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Other uh, discussion and comments? Seeing none, then I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Advertising for sealed proposals in relation to the extension of 56 to the Penfield Consolidated Sanitary Sewer District, Parkview Drive, and White Village Drive Area Sewer Project. Moved. Second. The Penfield Engineering Department is authorized to advertise in the manner prescribed by law seeking sealed proposals for the installation of sanitary sewers, pump station, 
force main laterals and appurtenant structures in relation to Parkview Drive, White Village Drive area sewer project, extension 56 to the Penfield Consolidated Sanitary Sewer District. Be it resolved that installation methods and materials required for this construction contract shall be in accordance with the plans and specifications which have been prepared by MRB Group and shall be made available to prospective bidders on December 19, 2014 at their office. Be it further resolved that bids will be accepted in the office of the town clerk until 11 a.m. Friday, January 23rd, 2015, at which time they are to be opened and publicly read. Right, thank you. Discussion. Seeing no discussion, I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Award contract for 2015 property maintenance to maintain, clean up, and secure properties as needed by the authorized official. Moved. Second. Whereas sealed proposals were requested for the maintenance, cleanup, and securing of properties that may become abandoned, neglected, and or otherwise inadequately maintained by the owner thereof in accordance with the applicable property maintenance code requirements of the town of Penfield. And whereas on Friday, November 7, 2014 at 11 a.m. local time, sealed proposals were received from Boone and Sons and Flint Landscaping and Snow Plowing and were read publicly by the town clerk. And whereas Boone and Sons is the lowest responsible bidder for meeting the specifications as set forth in the bid for the 2015 property maintenance. And now therefore be it resolved that the town of Penfield hereby awards the bid to Boone and Sons. Be it further resolved that funds for said work are budgeted for the 2015 in the 2015 adopted budget. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion? No. See no discussion. Roll call vote please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Author authorization for supervisor to sign recreation contracts. So moved. Second. This resolution authorizes the town supervisor to sign one recreation contract, and this is a, for a guest speaker for the Thursday lecture series. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, further discussion? Seeing none, I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Metzler? Aye. Moore? Aye. Quinn? Aye. Five ayes. Thank you. Um, the next item is uh, old business. Is there any old business to come before the board this evening? Seeing none, is there any new business to come before the board this evening? Again, seeing none, this brings us to our second public participation. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the board on any matter? Can I say one thing? Absolutely. I just wanted to, um, I just, I wasn't here at the public information meeting on Monday because I was at a family commitment out of town. However, I did watch it on our, our, on our internet, um, the PCTV, you can go in and watch the public information meeting in its entirety, which I have, and I just want to compliment everybody here on the dais who participated in it and uh, the supervisor for organizing the public information meeting. This is on Baker Commodities and the odor issues. And I thought it was a very positive meeting and a lot of constructive comments and criticisms and uh, look forward to the issue moving forward after watching this and um, hearing what was said. All right. So thank you. Well, well thank done. you for the comments. Uh, thank you for getting back safely. And uh, uh, we hope your daughter uh, did nothing but uh, please uh, both of you uh, uh, to death. So that's, uh, that's great. So all right. All right, uh, seeing no further uh, items to come before the board, uh, the um, November 19th, 2014th board will, uh, town board will stand adjourned at uh, 7.55 p.m.